In this video, I'll be sharing with you exactly how you can start landing high ticket coaching and consulting clients with a brand new YouTube channel. I've already been able to generate over 50K in revenue from my YouTube channel, and I only have 1,400 subscribers, and I started literally five months ago. So if your goal is to actually get customers on YouTube and monetize your high ticket offer, then this is the right video for you. So first off, why YouTube? The biggest reason why is because today, people are starved for trust. Because the reality is most marketers and entrepreneurs that are selling high ticket offers, they're doing it mostly by just cold pitching, blasting out like 100 DMs or emails every single day. And frankly, most of the audience now has been so inundated by these messages that they no longer believe anything that they hear or see online, especially from a stranger that's just making a massive claim. But it's not as though people don't buy today. It's just that they now buy from those that they trust. They buy from the Alex Hormozis of the world that actually prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that they actually know what it is that they're talking about because they have results, they have real insight and they're sharing content which literally gives away the farm and shows exactly how you could actually do it yourself. And as the audience, this makes you feel as though this person can be trusted, that they actually want to help you out, that they're intelligent, but also builds a relationship with them because you're able to see and hear their voice. So more specifically then, what is it that you need to be doing on YouTube in order to get customers? Well, let's break it down step by step. The first thing, at a high level, what you need to do is answer specific questions that your audience has questions about. So understanding who exactly your audience audience is, is obviously incredibly critical. For me, I sell to entrepreneurs. I sell to people who are running coaching companies, consulting firms, agencies. And when I know who my audience is, it makes it much easier for me to understand exactly what are the problems that they're dealing with on the day-to-day -day basis. And that's exactly what my content needs to be about. Because if I can actually create content that tackles their specific problems every single day, then that's going to be what allows them to trust me enough that they want to potentially work with me. So for me, I know their biggest issues are always going to be about lead gen. It's going to be about conversion. Version. It's going to be about how to build a more automated business that can run on its own so that they can live a healthy work-life balance. So that's what I do. I give away the farm. I hold nothing back. If you look into my YouTube channel, you'll see all these tutorials where literally the content is oftentimes what other people are selling for thousands of dollars and I'm giving it away for free. But I'm not afraid of giving away everything for free because I know that the majority of people, even if they were to see my content, they're going to understand, you know what? I could try to do this all on my own, but here's this person that has shown beyond a shadow of a doubt that they can do it really, really easily because they've done it a thousand times before. Wouldn't it make more sense to just work with them and solve the problem immediately rather than me spending a year trying to trial and error and figure it out all on my own? So how do you actually do this in a pragmatic way? Well, the first thing that you want to do is take all of those ideas and problems that your customers have and brainstorm them into a spreadsheet. So let me actually walk you through how this strategy might work in practice, right? I have the spreadsheet here and it's called the five beliefs of content. And what I've done is I've actually taken the audience that I have and I've mapped out their psychological profile. I've mapped out what it is that they're thinking right now. I've mapped out their biggest problems, their biggest pains, and I've essentially created this psychological profile that allows me to better understand what is the content that I need to create in order for me to get them to trust me, to make them believe and see the world that I see. And this is what allows me to be so intentional with my content. Now I use this and I create some point form notes and then that's actually how I'm able to then create all my scripts. So for example, here is a belief system that I might actually have a prospect have that I need to change in order for them to want to maybe book a call with me and work with me. One of the belief systems that they might have is that they think that doing just cold outreach by itself is enough. Now, if I'm able to show them, hey, it's not enough, you actually need to do things like content. You actually need to try to build trust. And here's exactly how to do it. This entire premise is even the basis of this particular video now. So utilizing this basic concept, I'm able to then create all my videos. Now from there, I'm going to start creating a bit of a posting schedule, right? Now it's just a matter of being consistent. Consistent. And generally speaking, I try to create two videos a week, but a lot of people only even create one video a week. The most important thing here is that you're just being very, very detail oriented because with every video, there's some moving pieces, right? You got to make a thumbnail, you got to script it, you got to record it. So just to keep myself very organized, I have all of my videos here with all the script. And then I just have essentially my project management spreadsheet so that I understand, oh, like where am I at the stage of creating every one of these videos? These days, I've actually been able to delegate a lot of this. So it's become a lot more simple and it's it's almost like clockwork, the speed at which I can crank out videos. If I needed to create like five videos a week, I could literally do it in just one afternoon because I have editors and all that type of stuff working in the background for me. All I need to worry about is essentially writing a couple of scripts and then recording it, which once again can be all done in a single afternoon. You don't really need that much content going out there. It's just important that when you do have content going out, that it antagonizes the pain, that it shows them exactly what's the better way of moving forward in the world. And then you're always going to have a call to 
action, of course, to get them to book a call or get them to DM you. And that's really big as well, because not necessarily everyone's going to be willing to just book a call right out of the gate. So if you can't get them to book a call, then just tell them, hey, follow me on social media and let's have a conversation there because that's a much softer ask. And other things that you can definitely do is provide a bunch of recommended videos at the end of your video or even during your video so that they're able to then continue to binge watch. And I'll actually put all my videos in a playlist as well so that I can make sure that everything has been categorized. It's very easy for my viewers to binge watch and consume and find more relevant content for them. And really like I've heard that the biggest reason why is that they've just seen hours and hours of my videos consecutively again and again and they just saw so much of it that they had to book a meeting with me. Now, here's a problem that a lot of people tell me. It's that whenever I'm starting a brand new social media, be it YouTube or Twitter or whatever else, it takes a long time to even get traffic, right? Like a brand new profile with zero subscribers, the odds that you're going to be able to close new high ticket clients out of the gate is really small because it takes so long to even get people to know you exist in the first place. So how do we actually solve for this? Well, the first option that a lot of people go for, honestly, is they just work for months and months and months trying to crank out YouTube videos, making sure that their thumbnails are amazing. So that they'll hopefully get some organic views. But my perspective is different. Yes, you should try to optimize your YouTube videos and make them as good as possible. But the easier way to actually get results quickly with your YouTube channel is just to drive paid traffic to it directly. And how do I do that? Well, I utilize social media follower ads. So both on LinkedIn and Instagram, you're actually gonna be able to run follower ads where the purpose isn't to drive someone into your website, it's just to get them to follow you on your social media page. And the beautiful thing about this is, once someone follows you on social media, they now have access to all of your content. You have all of your YouTube content that I put here, I have my longs, I have my shorts, and every single time someone clicks into this, they just get essentially pushed into my video content and my YouTube content. It's the same thing on Instagram, where if someone follows me on Instagram, Instagram due to one of the ads that I'm running, all the videos and all the reels that I have here are essentially just like minute long, tinier versions of my YouTube videos. But if they really want to see everything that's good, they would need to go to my YouTube and I give them plenty of calls to actions that push them into my YouTube channel, as you can see here. So this is a really great way for you to run ads at the top of the funnel, get people who are hyper targeted to your niche. So for example, if I wanted to run ads straight to entrepreneurs, coaches and consultants, I could very easily do that on both LinkedIn and Instagram. And then I just provide many, many pathways for them to ultimately get to my YouTube channel, which is where the majority of the selling is going to actually take place. And the beautiful thing is because of the fact that social media allows you to DM, you can have messages back and forth with your ideal customers. It's actually much easier for you to then have a conversation with them after and book them into a call. Because one of the issues with YouTube is that even if people like you, it's hard for them to actually have a back and forth conversation with you because there is no DMing feature. Whereas on social media, you have that. So now by driving paid traffic in to YouTube with LinkedIn or Instagram, you're now able to widen the top of the funnel with your ideal buyers. You're no longer limited in terms of eyeballs because you can just pay for more eyeballs. And then you're able to actually further nurture them with your social media content here, get them into YouTube, and you can even DM them in order to generate sales calls. So this is something that is like really, really powerful that very few people are doing because most people doing YouTube are just letting YouTube organic do everything, which is frankly like not the most efficient or effective way to get customers. Running ads like this this actually can generate you five to 10 X return on ad spend, which is amazing and allows you to scale so much faster for a high ticket offer compared to just letting things kind of play out on their own. So if you've actually found this pretty interesting, then why don't you just book a call with me below? You can find my calendar link in the description box, or like I said, just DM me on LinkedIn, DM me on Instagram, or even just follow me. My setters will have a conversation with you and you will be able to actually see some results just like my clients here, right? Whether it be 50 K a month with Manjeet or Fernando here doing hundred K a month, Christopher doing 100. If I keep on going down, you're just going to see more and more and more results, right? There's so many people who make these big claims on the internet and they don't even really have customer results to speak of. Whereas for me, I've been doing this for four years. So like I said, book a call below. If not, send me a DM on social media or just follow me. And even if that's not something that you want to do, then just continue watching my other videos and you'll be able to see more value, right? So with that being said, thank you so much for spending time with me today and I'll see you next time. Cheers.